Rochelle Oliver here, reporting for the Seminole Hard Rock. I'm standing in front of Paradise Live when we're just moments away from the Batiste brothers making their way down the red carpet, where tonight they're going to be debuting their music video for their hit single, The Storm. Mass media seems to have a, um, have a really profound effect on youth, and I do believe we need good role models out there, especially in native uh, Indian country. They're, uh, they're supporting their, their tribe, and uh, I respect that. I'm so proud of them because I know they've always wanted this, and it's finally here, so. Natural hair versus hair that just looks natural. I'm Rochelle Oliver, reporting for the MiamiHerald.com. On the September cover of O Magazine, Oprah Winfrey is sporting a more natural look. The queen of talk says she's wearing her hair naturally without blow drying or straightening it. While some love the look, others say Oprah is not telling the entire truth when it comes to her hairdo. South Florida, looking for ways to Metro Mix your weekend? Join me, Rochelle Oliver, every Thursday on the CW News at 10 and see what's hot, see what's happening in South Florida. These are Cordon Bleu recipes, don't get me wrong but they're quick, they're fast, they're simple, they're sumptuous. No, 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 this one, no, this, this one. Up, oh, up, it's up and down. Up, up. If you're serious about what you're doing, this is a really great place to be. I mean, we take our, our clients and our work that we do here very seriously. Originally a Sunoco station that was done in by the gas shortages of the early 70s, Le Tub started out as a local bar with a fantastic view in 1975 and gradually became more of a seafood and burger shack. They still have the same little kitchen that got La Tub its start. We call it quantum cookery. It's like cooking in a phone booth. On a busy day, we can go through 250, 300, so up to 350 pounds of meat in a ship. It's a recipe that seems to be working. I just finished the classic burger, but now I'm going to take my time with some key lime pie. I'm Rochelle Oliver, and this is SouthFlorida.com. South Beach has always been a place for love and lust. So it only seems right that a place like the World Erotic Art Museum is situated right here in the middle of Sexy Town.